Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Backyard Garage. So today is what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be focusing on getting the bumpers back on the car so we can see what it looks like on the car when they're painted. And then also I got a backup camera that I wanna put on and yeah, I wanna get that installed. So let me, uh, let me jump right in. Alrighty, so as you can see here, doing this is a one man job is a lot of work. Um, since the last time I put this in, I actually have this transmission jacket, which is going to be really helpful. So as what I did is I put this big blanket on, I bunched it up, put it, the jack underneath the bumper. I got this transmission jack under the cross support. So as what I'll be able to do is just lift it up as one piece and then bolt it in without having to work with it like I did before. So let me go ahead and uh, get you set up on the tripod and I will push this in and then get it all bolted up. Okay, so after, if you ever notice that like I work in my garage, I don't have gloves on. So it's what I do is um, I gotta wash my hands and clean my tools. And when I clean my tools, I use this product here. It's called Super Clean. It uh, dissolves grease, super easy, super fast. You just take this product and you spray it on. It comes in an aerosol spray now, whereas it used to just come in a bottle like this. You can also buy it in five gallon um, increments, gallon, five gallon, I think all the way up to 50 gallon drug. But the thing is, is um, this stuff is amazing. It cleans your tools really well. Get some super clean so you can use them. I'm going to do a demonstration quick here. I got an old harmonic balancer. It's off the carts, the original. Um, I already cleaned half of it. But if you can see, it's got this grease on here. And it is really thick, really stuck on. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take your super clean. You could just squirt it on. And then we just let it set for a few minutes. So let me come back in a second here and I'll show you how easy it wipes off. All right, so this product has actually been sitting on here for about a minute or two. So watch how easily it wipes off. Um, literally like pretty much zero effort. It just, it takes however many years of grime that was on this harmonic balancer. It just takes it right off. Um, and you could spray it again if you need to and it'll get it clean. So this stuff is a miracle in a bottle. Um, they have the wheel cleaner. They have all sorts of different products. I'll drop their link below in the description and you can check out everything that they had. Um, when I first removed the engine from the car, it was bare block and I cleaned it up and sold it. But I just used this right here and I used the uh, gallons of it and I soaked the block in gallons of this and it actually, it cleaned it and it made it look pretty much brand new. So, and it got it to a state where I can just paint over it. So check them out. The product link is in the description and I appreciate you. Now let's get back to the video. So I finally got these bumpers installed. Man, they're looking nice, super good. I couldn't be happier with how they turned out. Um, that little peeling that you saw, it was right under here. Can't even see it, so that's perfect. Um, they went on super good, super easy. One thing I do have to mention here is um, when you're taking these off, you only have to remove two bolts instead of all eight. So let me pop the trunk and I'll show you what I'm talking about. 
Okay, so there's only four bolts you have to move in order to get the bumper off. And I didn't know that until after I put it back together, which will make it a lot easier. Um, so there's going to be two bolts here, one here, um, and one up here. And there's going to be two down below. Let me jump under here and I'll show you. So hold on, it's going to be kind of rocky. So if you look up under the gas tank, there's a bolt on the left side of the, the spring. One right there. And then over on the passenger side, there's a bolt on the right side of this spring. So just those four bolts are the only ones that you really need to remove in order to um, get the bumper off. Because you take those off and the whole thing will just slide off versus taking all eight off and manhandling it like I did before. So we're on to the next task here. And this is going to be installing this backup camera here. Um, there's instructions in here. I got this off of um, Amazon, so I'm not sure exactly how good the instructions will be, but it's gonna be a pretty simple install. So um, first thing I'm gonna do is I gotta get the, um, yeah, I gotta get some of these panels and stuff removed so I could run the route, route the wiring to the back up to the dash. So let me get started on getting some stuff removed and I'll be right back. So here's what I did and I was trying to record it, but man, it was hard to get a good angle and I couldn't. But I just ran this cord underneath here, underneath all this plastic here, up into the back, and then now it comes to the back of the car here. So we have this cord, which is going to be like the signal for the for the actual camera itself, and then it's also got a power cord as well to indicate that it's getting signal. So I got that run. So the next thing that I need to do is I need to look at the instructions and figure out what's going on. So let me do that and I'll be right back. So in the backup camera, there was actually a, the next step was to get the power harness, which is this one and it's black and red. One goes to brake lights and then the other goes to ground. So it's what I did is I actually took out the reverse light bulb itself and I spliced into that and I got my ground running to my ground and then the power from the from this end right here goes in with the power on the reverse light and then the other red that was connected on this which is your signal wire it connects in there also so i put these together and that is what you do if you need to know how to crimp wires go back to my other video where i'm installing the wiring for the car and i go into a better explanation on how to connect wires and stuff but I got this all connected. So let me get the light bulb installed back in and plug this in. Okay, so the next thing that I had to do is I had to drill a hole right in here and it back up in here just so it's out of the way. And I still have to get a rubber grommet on here to waterproof it and also just to seal it up so the rubber doesn't rub on the bare metal. But then I can get the camera and get it mounted on here. So I drill the hole, push the wires through, as you see here, and then yellow plugs into yellow for your signal. And then the this one, the red, plugs into this red here, and that's gonna give you your power to the unit. And then up front here on the actual head unit itself, is what I did, is here's that other end of that wire here, is what I did is, this is the rear camera power, so I just, put that in there to feed power and then right here is the audio connector right here so I'm just going to plug in the other end this end right here into there and that's going to give me my signal so let me get this all hooked up and I'll be right back and we'll test it out Alrighty, so I have everything all temporarily hooked up here so let's go up here I'm going to turn the key on I'm going to give it a second let the radio kick on and then I'm going to shift it in reverse. Ah, look at that. I got camera. So it is working good. And then let me shift it to park. Agree. There we go. So it looks like it's working good. So I can't complain. Hello everybody, that's actually going to be a wrap for today's video. Um, the only things I got to do is I just got to button up some a little bit of that wiring, get a grommet for that back hole, and then get that all waterproofed and good to go. So thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, again, if you um, want to check out those super clean products, the link is going to be down in the description. 
So go ahead and go over there and check them out. And I really appreciate y'all watching my videos. We'll see y'all next time. Peace.